So the heading is percentage increase and decrease. And to explain uh, what we're going to do today, I have some pictures. You know how much I love pictures. <laughs> now, there are two big reasons why it's important to look at percentage increase and decrease. And here's the first obvious reason. Percentage increase and decrease, you will encounter them over and over and over again throughout your life. Every single day, you're going to be encountering things that, I'm going to move this down just a little bit so you can see the whole thing, that present you with percentages that will increase something or decrease something. You'll see them all the time and you will be expected. No one's going to hold your hand and tell you the right answer. You've just kind of got to work out what it is that they mean. Even when some of the percentages are like, what does it mean to get 80, 875% of my daily value of vitamin K? What's that supposed to mean? Okay, it is a lot. Now, here's my first reason, right? You're going to encounter percentage increase and decrease all the time. This is something really relevant. But just as important, number two, percentage increase and decrease are famously confusing. And to illustrate that, I'm going to put this back up now because I don't need it. To illustrate that, I'd like you all to have a go at solving this puzzle. If you think you have an answer, don't spoil it. Maybe call Mrs. Lee's or I over to have a look. But all the information that you need is here. You've got some potatoes. And potatoes, by the way, are incredibly filled with mainly water. I know it's actually not exactly this percentage, but it is a very high percentage, much higher than you would think. You leave your potatoes out in the sun and then they get dried out until such a point as there's less water in them, they're only 98%. So now my question is, if you started with 100 kilos, how much do you end with? I'd love to see some working. And if you think you have an answer, don't call it out. Let everyone else have their process to think about it. I'm going to give you about three minutes to have a play with it. Good luck. Off you go. You've just wonderfully illustrated for me what my... Second point was, right? I said percentage increase and decrease, we care about it, number one, because it comes up, up a lot, all the time, in real life. And number two, because they are famously confusing. I've heard a range of answers from you. I've heard 99, I've heard 98.99, I've heard 97.02. Do you want to give me another answer? I've heard 100, it's not 100, okay? Let me illustrate to you what's going on. Let's, let's back up for a second, okay? And this is not just an illustration in percentages, but also an illustration in just mathematical problem solving in general, right? There's a lot of information here. Let's step through it slowly and make sure we digest everything properly, pardon the pun. You've got 100 kilograms of potatoes, which are 99% water. Now, I got a really great question from Leah. She said, do you mean 99% in weight? Which I guess the opposite to that would be in volume, I guess. Lovely question. You yourselves can answer that question from the context. Do you think it's weight or do you think it's volume? Weight. It's weight, isn't it? Uh, the way you can guess that is that there's nothing really in the question that tells you other things about volume. So if it were volume, if that were actually true, then we're kind of stuck. We can't really answer the question. So it is weight. Now think about that with me. If 99% of, and I'm using all of our language from percentage of a quantity from before, right? Of that 100 kilograms is water. 99% of the 100 kilograms is water. So how much... What quantity of the potatoes right now is water? 99, 99 kilograms. kilograms. Very good. Okay. So 99 kilograms are water. All right. Think, 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 think. The rest of it, I guess we would call it solid. What's the rest of it then going to be? What weight is left behind? What mass, I should say. <laughs> there's, there's one kilogram of solids left. Are you okay with that? Is that okay? Right? So that's how we start. That's how we begin. And then the potatoes are left out in the sun and they get dry. Now, just think about this, right? They dry until they are 98% water. Tell me what happens to this as it dries. Nothing happens to this as it dries because this is dry stuff. It's dry, right? This is what changes. Do you agree with that? You agree with that? <laughs> okay, now hold on a second. Wait. You're right. You're still not quite there yet. You're right. Some of you are there, but others of you are not. So I want to make sure we all get there together. Okay? They're left out to dry, 
And then this one kilogram, right? It used to be 1% of all of the potatoes. It used to be 1%. It's not 1% anymore, is it? Look at the question. What is this one kilo? What is it now? It's 1 over 99. Look carefully. What percentage is this of the... This is 2% now, isn't it? After everything's dried out, this becomes 2%. How did you know that? There's no 2% in the question. Vishaka, how did you see it? Yes. Because um, when it's 99, it's 1, so then it's 98, so it's 2. Right. 99% water, 1% solid. If it's 98% water, it's 2% solid. Do you agree with that? Yes. Okay, so 2% of... Now, I actually don't know. I don't know how many kilos there are in the end. That's the question, right? So I'm just going to give it a name. I'm going to call it, well, let's call it P for potatoes, right? <laughs> P potatoes, right? There are P kilos left, and we know how many there should be, right? How many kilos there are at the end? How many kilos are there? This is the solid stuff, right? This is the solid stuff. This is the solid stuff. One. There's one kilogram right there. Okay, now. I'm going to call on our ability to write things, not just as percentages, but we can write these in other forms too, right? We could write this as, for example, a fraction. What would 2% be as a fraction? 2 over 100. Two over 100. This of, this is actually an operator, right? Plus, minus, times, divide. Which one is it? Times. It's times. There's P, for the amount of kilos of potatoes. And the answer is 1. You okay with that? Now, someone already called out, oh, I can write 2 over 100 in a simpler way. Can I write that as a simple fraction? Yeah. 1 over 50. 1 over 50, very good. Equals 1. So, P is the amount of the potatoes at the end. What do I do to both sides to get P? I... Multiply by 50. I'm going to multiply by 50, which gives me the final mass. Now, hold on a second. We only dried out a little bit, didn't we? We only dried out so that there were 98% water rather than 99. Doesn't sound like they changed very much, did they? But in fact, the maths of it makes it very clear. You see, percentages, this is my point, right? Percentages are quite counterintuitive. People famously have trouble when they reason with percentages. That's why we had such a range of different answers. And eventually, you just started throwing guesses at me. You're like, I don't know, 90, 19, who knows, right? Percentages require some very careful thought.